Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of our Functions Python programming series of videos. So in the previous video you should have looked at finishing off my story in the function called Option Rock. So on the screen I've got a version of what I would have finished the story with, so you tripped on the rock and died, you lose, please try again. What we're going to do now is instead of finishing off our story with the next function, is try and continue it instead. So if I hop back over to create with code, we can see here I've just deleted those two print statements and I'm going to write something to complete my story. So instead I'm going to offer the player another choice. So let's go with another print and say something like the rock hits the orc A run away or B fight the orc. So in this line of code, so now I've offered the player two new fresh choices. So let me just move this down a bit, because with our new choice, we'll have to place it above option rock. So now we need to add a new input for the user to be able to enter what they want. So again, we use our variable. So I'm going to say this is choice two, because this is the second choice that the player is going to be making in their story. So I had choice here. And then now we're having choice two for the second part. So input, please enter your choice. So now the player will gain another opportunity to enter what they want to do. And now I need to write my conditional statement. So I'm going to go with if choice two which is the newest choice the player is making, is equal to A. Well, then it's going to do something. So maybe running away, in my story, is the right choice. So I'm going to do something maybe called... I'm going to call an option, option run. So this would be the next function I would create to continue my story. But at the moment, we know that option run doesn't exist. We've got an, a, a function called intro and a function called option rock. We don't have a function called option run yet. So that's what we would need to develop. So then I'm going to do elif. And I'm going to say if you fight the orc, it's going to kill you. So choice 2 is equal to b. And then print tried to fight an orc idiot you died so that would be where the player would lose my game and it would end so what we need to do now is do an else statement again that will just repeat option rock um, if they don't either enter the option A or B so let's go with else um, do another print statement, just like we did here. Print, could you please only enter A or B? You can probably hear my dog in the background. Uh, train of thought, and yeah, so please enter option B. Please enter either option A or B. So the player asked to option, oops, spelling error. So please enter Press insert somewhere. There we go. Please enter either option A or B. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run option rock again so the player has another opportunity to enter their choice. So option rock and then the brackets. So now I've got a brand new function that serves as a brand new section of my story. So if I click run now, oh, bad input on line 11. So sometimes we have to do error tracking. So there we go. Input on line 12. What am I missing? There we go. This is what happens when your dog starts barking and you get distracted. So let's go with option B, which we know leads to option rock. The option rock function being run, which is this. So I'm going to enter option A. The rock hits the orc, which we know is what we print here. Run away or fight. So I'm going to f try and fight the orc and we'll see what happens. You tried to fight an orc, so you died. So I entered option B, and I died. Let's try the program again. So option A. Please enter a choice. This time I'm just going to smash the keyboard. 
and we can see here that because I didn't enter option A or B, it tells me that I need to op enter option A or B, and then it reruns this function again. So it reruns all of this code again and offers me the same choice. So now I'm going to do A. Well, we all know that at the moment there is no function called option run. We only have intro and option rock. So what I want you guys to do is continue this story. So you're going to need to create a new function, and I want you to call this one option run. What you will need to do is continue my story for me. So instead of just doing a print statement telling the player that they died, I want you to use conditional statements to inform the player of a new choice that they have or a choice that leads to maybe their death. So offer the player a new choice that leads to a new function and offer the player a death scenario as well. So in each function so far, I've got a new option that leads and continues the story and an option that kills them. So make sure that you have both of those options in your brand new function. So if I hop back over to the presentation, I just want you to continue my story for me. So please pause the video here and have a go at continuing the story and adding those options in for our option run function.